Okay, ladies, green. I have red and black. Black. One in two close match, uh, two close games. Round of 32 at the Hilo Open a couple of years ago. 21. And they also won a silver at the Asian Championships last year. They're ranked at 20 in the world, the Danish pair. They were at the Olympics, lost in the group stage. But a pretty experienced pair. Tugerson, there, as you see, 32. Yeah, playing on home soil as well to do it in front of their their nation, their team. Badminton Denmark watching, you know, everybody from the higher tranches of, uh, of the organisation watching on. And um, I think the style of the game will determine a lot of the outcome. Quite aggressive from them, but some of their bigger performances, some of their bigger ranking point wins, the Danes, have come when it's, for example, the European Games or the US Open, where the world's very best aren't all there. And at, in the quarterfinals, and that was dead close. Yeah. That's the standard that the Japanese pair have come up against. Meant it. Yeah, I heard them talking there about um, attacking the attacking strategies. Keep it down, get it down as early as possible. Oh, falling well short of their own average. But now they have. Going wide. Watch up here. And you would think, in all likelihood, that the Japanese firm will uh, improve a little bit in that first game, even though they won it. That's. game it's working pretty well
Oh, wow. Isn't it? But still, plenty of work to do. Might have been wide. Well, they didn't deserve it. And I think um, it was at least. God. Brilliant again. Fabio Lopez did it. Come on, oh, two of them wanted uh, Fruegar to step in for uh, and a half. It's in. It's going wide. That would have been enforced in game one, and they could have sped up throughout the rest of the match because you can't risk a red card and lose points. It's in, it's in, and that is the end of it.